Hey everyone, welcome to another deep dive into the world of Linux distributions. Today we are exploring the catch OS number 2025 ISO snapshot. A fresh update from this Arch Linux based operating system. That's all about delivering top notch performance and user friendly features. If you are new to catch OS, it's designed for speed with optimizations that make it stand out for gamers, developers, and everyday users alike. This latest release focuses on better accessibility, enhanced hardware compatibility, and smoother installations. So, let's break down what's new and why it matters. Starting with the core of the system, the snapshot runs on the stable Linux 6.12 kernel series, which is LTS, which provides reliable long-term support for a wide range of hardware. For the desktop experience, it comes with the KDE Plasma 6.5 as the default environment, offering a sleek, customizable interface that's easy to navigate. One of the most welcome changes is the improved accessibility for visually impaired users. The developers have integrated the Orca screen reader and the eSpeak NG speech synthesizer directly into the live ISO and the installer. This means people with visual challenges can now more easily handle the setup process on their own. From boot up to completion, a big step toward inclusivity in open source software. The installation process itself has gotten smarter and more versatile. The Calamaris installer now handles both the Plasma Login Manager, which is being positioned as a future replacement for the traditional SDDM login screen in KDE setups. And the Cosmic Greeter, which serves as the default for Cosmic Desktop installations. This ensures a more seamless experience tailored to your chosen environment. Additionally, the release enables the MK init CPO systemd hook for compatible setups, though it is skipped for ZFS or BCA CHEFS root file system to avoid conflicts. For those using the BCA CHFES file system, the installer now automatically adds the BCA CHEFS DKMS package, replacing built in kernel modules for better reliability and performance. Hardware support has seen some solid upgrades too. If your system has compatible Intel GPU, the installer will automatically pull in the Intel Media SDK and VPL GPU RT packages to boost video acceleration and media handling. On the NVIDIA side, support for the outdated 390HX legacy driver has been dropped, with older FEMI based cards now defaulting to the Nuovae driver enhanced by NVBoost for improved open source performance. And for portable gaming fans, this release adds dedicated support for the Asus ROG Alley and ROG Alley X handles, making CatchUS a stronger option for on the go Linux gaming. Gaming enthusiasts will appreciate the tweaks to Proton CatchUS, the distro's custom Proton build for running Windows games on Linux. You can now opt for DXVK Gplay Sync as an alternative to the standard DXVK. Simply setting the Proton DXVK Gplay Sync is equal to 1 environment variable. There is also enhancements to FSR3 and XCSS upscalers for sharper graphics and better frame rates. Plus, per game shader cache management has been refined with larger cache sizes. Especially helpful for NVIDIA users to minimize stuttering and reduce the need for repeated shader comp compilations. Other gaming related fixes include Wayland improvements for issues like full screen offsets, keyboard input quirks, DPI scaling, and video output stability. Beyond that, the CatchOS Hello Welcome app has been polished. Clicking Install Apps now directly launches the Package Installer window for quicker software additions. And there is even a new command line interface for those who prefer terminal based workflows. Bootloader support for Lemind has been strengthened to handle quirky UEFI systems better. And a systemd compatibility version of the BTRFS. Overlay FS hook ensures smoother operations for BTRFS users. A few smaller fixes round things out. 
like removing duplicated mount options in Calamaris for XFS file systems and disabling unnecessary recompression in CRAM for incompressible data to save on resources. If you are already running caches, updating is straightforward. Just fire up your terminal and run sudo pacman-syu to grab all the latest packages. For fresh installs, head over to the official CatchOS website to download the ISO. It's available in both desktop and handheld editions with mirrors around the world for fast access. Be sure to check the full release notes for any specific manual adjustments like migrating from the now deprecated Steam native runtime. Overall, this November 2025 release makes CatchOS even more accessible, hardware-friendly and performance-oriented perfect for anyone looking to squeeze the most out of their Arch-based setup. Whether you're installing on a desktop rig or a handheld device, these changes show the team's commitment to evolving the distro. If you have given it a try, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more Linux updates. See you in the next video. Peace out.